Well, with the cold winter weather here, you may be looking for a taste of sunshine, and there's nothing quite like a burst of citrusy sweetness to brighten things up. So here with some tips on how to master lemon curd is winner of the Great American Baking Show Season 4, and my friend Tina Zaccardi. Hi, Tina. Hi, Sarah. So excited to be here. I'm so glad you're here, too. I, when you said you were going to do lemon curd, I was like, definitely, because I love lemon curd any time of year, but why do you love lemon curd now? I love lemon curd now because we've just gone through the holidays with these super super sweet and chocolatey and desserts. We need yeah. something bright, we need something light, we need something tart, and lemon curd just really fits the bill. It really does. So what's the secret to making the perfect lemon curd? So to make the perfect lemon curd, I think one of the tricks is to do it over a nice gentle heat. You right. don't want to like scramble those eggs. So you want a double boiler. Double boiler. And the first thing we are going to do is we have butter, sugar, and lemon juice in here and we've melted it, uh, heated it until the butter melts and the sugar is dissolved. We don't want to have a grainy curd. Right. So from there... Nobody likes a grainy curd. No, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so in here we have egg yolks. And what we're going to do is going to take this warmed mixture and we're going to gradually add that mixture to the eggs because we want to temper them, right. which means to bring the eggs up to the temperature of your heated liquid. Right. And we want to do it gradually so we don't get scrambled right, eggs. Right, because if you do it all at the same time, right, then you're going to exactly. scramble those eggs. Here, let me hold this. Fabulous. So yeah. we're going to add this very slowly and we're going to mix it into those egg yolks. Right, so people always say, well, how can you use raw egg yolks, but you're not, they're not going to be raw egg yolks anymore. After they're not going to be raw well. egg yolks. They're going to be cooked. So we're going to just get that all in there. And then we're going to take this and we're going to put it back on the heat. And we are going to use our wooden spoon. Uh -huh. And we're just going to just move it around gently until it starts to thicken. Right. And you'll, you'll know, it'll coat the back of the spoon and it'll start to get thick. Now, and so the thickener in this is really the yolks. Yes, that's yeah. what, the yolks is what does it. So, you know, you can be very careful with your tempering, but sometimes there's little bits of eggs that are going to form. So when this has come, you know, gotten nice and thick where yep. you want it, we're going to strain it through a mesh strainer and get any little bits out that we have. Right, because you like perfect curd. Right, we want it to be <laughs> silky smooth. Yeah. Absolutely. So that has everything in it already. We're going to let that get thick. Yep. Then we're going to strain it. So these are just the ingredients. We already yep. added the lemon juice in the yep. first part. Okay, great. And then that's it. And then you let it cool because it's, you're not going to realize how thick it is really until it cools because then exactly. it gets thicker. Yeah. And then one trick is after you put it in the bowl, take a piece of plastic wrap and place it directly on the top because you don't want a skin to form on top right. of the lemon curd. Okay, let's, let's put this in some dishes. Great. So here I have... Um, a sweet tart dough. Yep. I've decorated a couple already, and it's just super easy. Um, you're going to blind bake your favorite sweet dough or even a flaky pastry. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take some of the curd. Yeah, because you could probably even do this with like a puff pastry, right? Exactly. If you want if someone who wanted to do like a store exactly. bought. Or... And we're going to put a bunch in there. Mm -hmm. And this is such an, if you already have the curd done and you do a quick crust, this is such an easy dessert to pull out. It is. And you can um, have your crusts in the uh, tart pan, frozen in your freezer, ready to bake off at a moment's notice. So we've got that in there. And that's I've decorated. That makes a good hostess. That's right. <laughs> Always be prepared. Yeah. I've got some um, blackberries and I've taken some of the ends of the crust and I've made some little cookies to decorate with and some toasted meringue. You just, then you just, uh toasted those up. Absolutely. Let's talk about an easy parfait. What yes. do we have in here already and then I'll help. Absolutely. So on the bottom I've put some crushed graham crackers. You can use any kind of cookie you want. Oatmeal, even chocolate. Sometimes chocolate and lemon is really good. Yeah. And we've layered it with a no-bake cheesecake filling mm. and then some lemon curd on top. And you can put a little more cheesecake and then some more crumbs. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that, isn't that just beautiful? It's so and another really easy thing. So easy. My kids would die for this, too. <laughs> it's like a kid, you know, kid-tested parent Yes, fruit they're lemon lovers. Are they lemon lovers? Oh, my God, yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the macarons because yes. I love how you made a little border with the buttercream so that all that lemon curd just doesn't ooze out. Exactly. So I've taken some Swiss meringue buttercream and I've kind of piped a little bit of a border mm -hmm. around the end. And to that, we are going to add a little bit of oh, the lemon curd. in the center. There you go. And then we're going to top it. 
and doesn't that just look oh my amazing? You know what I love that you're doing too? You're doing the virtual cooking classes. So tell me a little bit yes. about them. So, you know, people want to learn how to bake. I think they're kind of intimidated by it and they think it's something very hard. But um, if you um, hit me up on my website, on my Get to Know um, Reach Me page, yep. um, you can ask me how to bake anything and I will set up a class for you. It can be you know a private class or it can be a group, a group class, class or if you have um, you work for a company or you have a group of girls that want to bake class. together oh. you can um, you can do that too. I love it. Well for Tina's full lemon curd recipe and to sign up for one of her virtual classes head to her website tinazacardi.com. Thanks so much Tina.